So more talk on the road thing. Yeah, more, more chat about the streets and the, the street life and that. If you feel like you need to go prepared, don't go. So a couple of weeks ago, I was on Instagram. I see a man make a video talking about going to certain spots with the man them and having to go tooled up because it might get on top, it might get sticky and that. And his response to that scenario where you know certain man might feel like they need to go tooled up, i.e. with shanks and that, or they need to go with about 10 of their brethren, was the same as my response a couple of years ago. Man I've spoken about this before. If one of your brethren and that, this guy does not know how to fucking drive. If one of your brethren in that tells you, yo, we're gonna go to this spot and not just you and me, we're gonna need to bring about seven other men just in case it gets on top. You see in a situation like that, do not go, it's not safe. Or if it's a situation where your brethren says to you, listen, we're going to this spot, bring your shank with you. I'm gonna bring my thing as well. Don't go, because you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up in a jail. You're gonna end up in a jail. Spoken about joint enterprise many times. One of my cousins, I had to tell him, this is the last time me and you is going out. Boom. Uh, linked up with one of my cousins or whatever, really. And we've gone to one, um, one club. We're in the club doing whatever we're doing or whatever, innit? Next thing you know, my man's like, ah, oh, I forgot my Rambo. I said, what? I said, nah, fuck that. Anyway, boom. A couple of weeks later or something like that, a month later, he's like, yeah, 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 we need to link up and go. I said to him, fam, no, we're not going out again. He said, why? I said, blood. You told me that time we was in the club last time that you forgot your Rambo, fam. I'm not moving with you. I'm not moving with you. Do you know why? Because this is what's going to happen, yeah? Certain man still have beef and that, innit? And if I'm the driver, because I, when I used to go out with certain man or whatever, innit? Yeah, I had the car, they didn't have a car, whatever, innit? If I'm the driver, we might be driving down the road and a man might see someone that he don't like. Someone that he wants to, you get me, do something to or whatever, innit? If we're driving, I'm driving and that, if my man decides to hop out of the car at a, a, a red light or in the car stationary or whatever, innit? and he stabs someone, that's gonna look like we was going out, riding out. Yeah, joint enterprise. Yeah, you don't even have to be um, the perpetrator. You don't even have to be the man that stabs anyone. The fact that you're with man, and remember, on CCTV, all they're gonna see is, um, a car driving down the road, two black occupants, one jumps out at a stoplight or whatever and stabs someone. They're looking at, the way that CCTV is gonna make it seem like we was going on a ride out when really and truly we was just going out to have a good time. Someone came prepared and they saw someone, it was a chance meeting, it was just, it, it was just um, an accidental meeting. But the cameras and that don't, it don't look like that when they see that, when they review that footage. Um, in, um, on, on the trial or whatever because it's going to go to trial and that the fucking jury are, are sick and tired and it's just getting repetitive young black man driving around jumping out of their car stabbing in, they're stabbing people so what's going to be different about my situation and the other 10 situations where they found man guilty they're not going to see no 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 I'm not moving with no one that's rolling with a shank or whatever in it, yeah. don't get it twisted if I'm with man and something kicks off and you know Whatever happens, whatever happens in here. But I'm not going nowhere where I feel like I need to go, go with people because it's gonna be a troublesome spot. No. Imagine me going, like, why am I even finding myself in some ratchet ass, ghetto ass places? I need to go with people that are like minded. Me, I've got three fucking properties. I'm a fucking author. Why am I going to spots with ratchet ass people where I feel like I need to carry a shank and that? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. If I go to a place and something kicks off, then it is what it is, isn't it? 
but I'm not going nowhere prepared. I'm not going nowhere where I feel like I need to carry 10 men with me because it's gonna get on top. No, 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 I ain't got, I've got too much to lose to be going somewhere where I know that something could kick off. Yeah, I might be out and about on the road, something might kick off and whatever, but I'm not going nowhere where I feel like I need to be prepared. No way, I've got too much going for me. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm not going to be in no environments with people that ain't got nothing to lose. I need to be in environments with people that have got something to lose. Imagine, imagine you hear the lineup. You hear boom. You're going to a club, and everyone in that club there is drug dealers, man in and out of jail, uh, man just six baby mums and all the kind of nonsense. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to no place where there's that type of people and that. Don't get it twisted, man. Love my black people and that, innit? But I'd rather go to a spot where I know there's people in there that have that own properties and businesses and they have families and mortgages and responsibilities and that. Don't get it twisted, there's dickheads everywhere, innit? You can go anywhere and, you know, get into a situation where you might have to smack someone. But I'd rather go somewhere where I know there's people with stuff to lose. Stop going to these places where there's some ratchet ass people. Like, man, I heard a story the other day. Uh, was it some shooting in some some house party in Brixton? Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on, man! Why are you even at them spots there, isn't it? Yeah, where there's see you, you're going to places where there's man in certain. So you're going to places where there's man in 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 a spot where other men are gonna go and wanna take him out. And you know what's gonna happen? So. K1 is at some party in Brixton and his ops know that he's there, innit? They're gonna come and try and shoot K1, but you know who's gonna get shot? That girl that's out for her birthday with her brethren. It's always some random girl out with her brethren um, and it's her birthday or whatever that gets shot. Stray bullet and that. So, no, don't don't be finding yourself at these, 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 these spots and that. Go to places where you have to pay to get in as well. It's not going to all these free places and that. More than like those are the types of places where people get um, where things kick off and that or whatever. And I, I ain't saying that all places that are free to get in are troublesome or whatever. And what I'm saying is you need to start going to places that have higher quality of human beings in it instead of these ratchet ass people and that. Now, I've got too much to lose to be going to these stupid ass places hanging around these dumb people and that. So, yeah, joint enterprise is not a joke. Joint enterprise is not a joke. There's even one guy. I'm from Edmonton or whatever, innit? And there's one guy from Palmer's Green. He's not like that. He's not on nothing. He started moving with some man from a neighboring area, not Edmonton, but a neighboring area. And he started being their driver, innit? So they're probably using him or whatever, innit? They probably bust him a little 10, 20 pound here and there for petrol or whatever, innit? One day these had a gun on them. I don't even think they was riding out, but they had a gun on them, innit? Some, I don't know, maybe police just wanted to do a random stop check or whatever, innit? A couple men in the back have dashed the gun on the floor, or whatever. Innit? They've all got nicked. They've all got bagged. The fucking driver of the car, good you, you know, a man that's not, he ain't got no man on his fist. The man not even fist man up, let alone stab and do this, whatever. Innit? He ain't got no man on his fist. Good you, innocent you. He's in jail five years. Man, see him. Man, see him and his cold D. Both of them, man, there, they're not on nothing. Even the school that they went to, them, man, they ain't on nothing. Them, man, they ain't even got no one on their fist. And they're in jail. Five, do two and a half for a gun charge. And them, them man, there, this prince is not even on the fucking gun. This is, this is the thing with fucking joint enterprise and that. You'll get convicted by way of association. It's long. It's long. Long. Don't move with no one that can get you in any trouble. Mm. And going out prepared. I, I, like, how are you going out to a club with your knife? That is the place not to go. Find somewhere else. You know, if Dalston Kingsland Road is, is 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 peak for you, but go somewhere else. If um, where's that place? Is it Clapham? Clapham Common. There's, there's like a place in South London and someone put that in the comment section before. You, you, you South Londoners, AY London, um, um, Brandon, the rest of you, you lot, you South man, right down. It's somewhere in Clapham. Where it's like it's the spot, it's the place to be. I can't remember. I've drove past there, innit? Um, right down where it is, innit? For the rest of the people, then, innit? If you feel like it's a sticky situation to go there, no, don't go, fam. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else, innit? Man? So, if you feel like you need to be prepared for trouble and that, don't go. It's just not worth it, man. Stay away. Done.